Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're creating a houndstooth pattern in Adobe Illustrate. It's going to be done as a multicolor pattern and also then adjusted to be a solid color pattern. I'm going to click on new file. I'm going to create a document 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels in size. If you stick with the size, it's going to be a little bit easier to follow along and to check that you've got everything correct. I'm going to start with the rectangle tool. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to create a rectangle that is 400 by 400 pixels in size. Obviously, this is a square. I'm going to set it to no stroke at all. And the first of the colors is going to be the color that we're going to use for this pattern. So just choose a color that you like. We're going to create a triangle. It's going to be a right angle triangle. The easiest way to do this is to create another rectangle. So I'm going to click in here and our rectangle is going to be 200 pixels by 200 pixels in size. I'm going to change the color on this and to make it into a triangle, I'm just going to deselect it, go to the direct selection tool and just select over one of the corner points. I'll press delete and what I end up with is a triangle. This one I'm going to place in two positions. So I'm going to place it here. I'm going to Alt or Option drag a duplicate away. I'm going to rotate it. So hold the Shift key as you rotate it around. And you want to go all the way around to this kind of rotation and then just place it up here. Now you want to line it up to the rectangle itself. We can grab both of these or all three of these pieces and just position them in the top corner of the document. The next shape we need is another 400 by 400 pixel square. So we've already got one. Let's go and select the Pass Selection tool here. Hold down the Alt or Option key. That's Alt on a PC, Option on a Mac, and drag a duplicate away. At this point, you can change this color. We only need a portion of this rectangle as well, so you're going to select over one of the corners and just press delete. Now what we need from this shape is a strip out of it, and we're going to use this shape here to cut it. So we're going to select this particular one, Alt drag a duplicate away, and just place it up here in the top corner. So these two shapes should be lined up together. If you're unsure that they're lined up correctly, just select over both of them. We're going to the Align panel because I want to be able to select an option here. I want to select Align to Key Objects. I'm just going to make sure one of these objects doesn't move, just this one here. And then I'm going to select the Vertical Align top and then the horizontal align left just to make sure that they're perfectly in alignment. Then I'll reselect them and I want to subtract the red from the green. You can do this using the Pathfinder palette by just clicking here on minus front. The red's in front of the green and that will just take out the piece we don't need. This piece goes in down here. But it's also this piece over here. So you can Alt or Option drag a duplicate of it away. Hold the shift key as you rotate it all the way around. And then it's just going to line up with this shape here. At this point, you can settle your colors. I'm going to use green and orange and probably a blue. So I'm going to make this blue and I'm going to make this blue and I'm going to make this the same green. So I'm just going to have a three color houndstooth pattern. If I select over everything, I'm just going to check its size. It should end up being a thousand pixels by 1000 pixels if you've got everything lined up. In other words, it's just fitting exactly inside this document. So that's a nice little check that you've got everything correct. I am going to group these objects. We'll make it a little bit easier to work with. So I'll choose object and then group. Then I'll choose object pattern make. Click OK. I'm going to scale things down. So I'm going to the zoom key. I'm just going to zoom out so I can see more of my document in the pattern options dialog without making any adjustments to the pattern. You could select, for example, nine by nine. It's not changing the pattern. All it's doing is showing you more or less of these elements on the screen so you can work out how things are looking. I'm going to choose hide artboard so that I can just see a white pattern. And I'm going to decrease the width. 
And to make these elements join up, you're going to decrease the width to 800. You're also going to decrease the height to 800. Once you've done that, you've got your pattern, so you can just click Done. I'm going to select over this shape here. Just move it out of the way. Let's make a rectangle so that we can fill it with our new pattern. And click here on the Pattern tool. I'm going to scale this a little bit, Object Transform Scale. don't want to transform my object. I just want to transform my pattern. I'm going to transform it to 50% of its original size. This is the multicolored version, and of course you could make changes to that, but we can also use it to make our black and white version. To make our black and white version with this rectangle selected, we'll go to Recolor Artwork and go to Advanced Options. Here what you're going to do is drag these green and blue colors or whatever colors you're using onto the top color. So we're just going to make them all the exact same color. But at the moment, they're tones of the original color. Well, we're going to double click here to open up this dialog and select black because that's the typical color to use for a houndstooth pattern. The other thing, instead of getting blacks and grays, we're going to click here and choose exact. And so now we're getting an exact color. So all of the orange, blue, and green, or whatever colors you're using, are now mapped onto a solid black. I'm just going to click OK. In the swatches panel, you'll see that you have your original pattern, but you've also got your black and white version. I think that's probably the easiest way you'll have to create a houndstooth pattern, just making your shapes, make them to the fixed size that I've shown you, and everything should line up just perfectly. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.